Lesson 16.3 is writing equation of a circle from key features. So this one has no picture, but I want to draw a picture on the first one just to help you uh, figure out what you're trying to do. It's going to say, determine the equation of the circle with a center at this point, and then it contains another point. When this is a radius where the points are diagonal, you can't simply just count. Uh, you have to do distance formula. So here's distance formula again, but we also know that it comes from Pythagorean theorem. So really what I'm trying to find is I'm making this a right triangle and dropping down a leg here and here, and then this is my radius. <clears throat> so what you need to be doing is finding the distance of your x value, so that would be this longer leg, and you could just think about it, the distance from negative 18 to negative nine, that's a distance of nine. But what you could also do mathematically is do negative 18 minus negative nine, so that's plus nine, quantity squared, and then that's a distance of negative nine, or that's an, a sum of negative nine squared, that'll always turn into positive, so that's 81, and then do the same thing for your y's, which is the subtracting the height. So from negative one to one should be a distance of two, but you could do negative one minus one, that's negative two squared, will become positive four. And then since we have Pythagorean theorem, we know that we're square rooting. So it would be square root of 85 and that distance is really our radius. <clears throat> okay, so now that I'm ready to make an equation, I'm gonna have x minus the x value from my center point, so it's minus a negative, that'll turn into plus nine squared, plus y minus, let me move this down a little bit. One squared equals, now I need the radius to be squared. So if the radius is the square root of 85, squaring both sides makes the square root and squared cancel, so really the radius squared is 85. So I can actually do the distance formula and just know that this distance is my radius squared. And then that would be your answer. All right, number two, let's try another one without a picture. Determine the equation of the circle with a center at three zero containing the point negative three comma negative square root of 13. So let's find the distance. You almost can't mess it up because you're just trying to find the distance between x's and y's and then you're doing like a Pythagorean theorem. So I'm gonna do three minus negative three or three plus three. Three plus three is six. Six squared is 36. Okay, then y's, zero minus negative square root of 13, that'll be plus square root of 13. Zero plus square root of 13 is still square root of 13. Squaring a square root, they cancel, so that's just 13. Do not square the 13, because you're square rooting a square, or squaring a square root, they cancel. Add that together, and you would get 49. Square root of 49 is seven. So then if I want to write my equation, it's gonna be x minus three from my center squared plus y minus zero squared equals the radius squared. So radius squared would be seven squared, which is 49. And again, you would not have to have uh, y minus zero, you could just have y squared. So either one of these. Okay, so I asked, also added on this lesson, uh, graphing them, they're pretty easy. They'll start with a circle and then you just drag it around. You just need to know the center. So the center here would be at positive one, negative three. And then the radius would be the square root of 36. So the radius would be six. So you would just drag it, one, two, three, four, five six units and it will already have the circle for you. Okay, not perfect, but pretty close.